Joining me now to discuss this is Andy Green, an assistant professor of information security and assurance at Kennesaw State University. Andy, thanks for being here. My it's pleasure. It's not just the airports we're talking about, 911 centers, government agencies, the billboards in Times Square all impacted. Healthcare. What is, yes, healthcare, of course. Yeah. What is the lesson here? So the lesson here is that organizations have trusted large scale companies like CrowdStrike to help protect their, their endpoint devices that we all use, laptops and desktops and things like that. And that's a good thing until things go sideways. And CrowdStrike has had a solid reputation for years. This is the first major incident that they've had. Um, but we've really come to put these organizations in a position where they have to produce zero defect software. And that's a heavy ask for anybody. And so the lesson here is that things are going to fail and that organizations need to have backup plans in place for when these things do fail. It is so eye-opening just how far reaching it is and it shows how we're all connected in this way. Absolutely. And this isn't the first time that something like this has happened. We've had uh, antivirus uh, manufacturers in the past produce bad updates that cause similar crashes but not to the scale that we're looking at today. So this has been going on for a while and it, the, it's not going to get any better. We're just going to have to develop backup plans to help us when these things go south, as they did yesterday. So is that up to each individual company or business to figure out, okay, what are we going to do Absolutely. if something like this happens? Absolutely. It's an incident response plan. And the response in this case would be very similar to what you would do in a ransomware attack because end users don't have systems that are up and running. Now, I want to be clear, this was not a ransomware attack, but the response on the front line would basically be the same because their systems are down. Workers can't use the, the, the systems that they need to do their work. And so the organization needs to have plans in place to help their workers do their job efficiently to take care of airline travelers, take care of medical patients, take care of 911 calls. All of that, any organization that relies on something this critical has to have a backup plan in place when it goes down, not if, but when. Mm -hmm. So a lot of IT departments right now are huddling together and saying, okay. Absolutely, cybersecurity yep. staff, all of them, they're For all sure. working together. Now, where do we go from here as far as recovering from this? Are we talking weeks for some companies? We could be. Uh, it depends on the state that the individual system was left in after they downloaded the bad update. Um, it could be a, a situation where a simple reboot and pulling down the correct file and, and that system is good to go. But if the system was left in a state that we call a blue screen of death or it's, a, it's bricked, effectively can't function, then somebody has to go hands-on with that individual system to implement the patch. And that's going to be time intensive, anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes per individual system. And then that doesn't account for servers that are either on-site mm. or cloud-based, like with Amazon AWS or Microsoft Azure or Google Private Cloud. They've got to take steps to get the servers back online as well. And so depending on the number of impacted systems, you, you could see an organization that's already back up and running fully the organizations that are looking at weeks for recovery time to get their hands on on these impacted systems. All right, anything else you want people to know and take away from this as far as what they should be doing now or where we go from here with this? This has happened before, it will happen again, and eventually everything will recover. I know that's small comfort right now to those folks stuck right. in Hartsfield and, and medical procedures and things like that, but the system will recover and these organizations will recover and hopefully they will learn and, and have, have a backup plan in place ready to go for future instances. All right, Andy Green from Kennesaw State University, thank you so much for thank your you. expertise. We appreciate it. Thank you. Well,